And with the cough of lizard, we're back. <laughs> they just hear it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> the grand final. Production value, bro. Production value. Here it is. We're the best, man. Best protection. But this is the grand finals of the Mountain Trail Challenge. A best of five between Power Rangers and the Vega Squadron. Uh, we kind of made a mistake in the Mubot and the title, but it's Vega who took match one with a nice armor reduction shred there, mid game oriented, and it just ran through the entire PR. And there just was no way to really stop them, no way to completely utilize their heroes. And it was a little bit of a lack of synergy, I would say. That's actually Lizard said a couple of times. And that's why Laser did here. He used to point out things that I don't always see straight away. Laser man, you're still happy to be here? I'm still happy. Wind I'm pushing through. pushing through. Going through the motions. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We have a Winter Vibrant pick now. As the first pick, and Olashak. That hero has been seeing a lot of love recently. Shaker. Those two heroes are. Look at them. Two blue dragons or whatever they are. They are really strong. And I don't know. We see an answer in an Earth Shaker, so. It's like a, what is it, a rainbow goat slash unicorn idea and Ivern, I guess. Yeah, pretty much, pretty Versus, much. Versus, what is it, a demon together with a uh, It's a cow. fiend, man. It's a fiend and a cow. It is a demon, fiend is a... <laughs> fiend. It's a cow. It's a cow with a fucking, what is it, a totem on his back. Totem, yeah, totem. Right? So, wow, they are actually banning really oh, fast. Yeah, they the know what they want to pick, so... Both teams have just their, you know, the things ready, they know what they want. I'm always surprised if, you know, if Vega actually bends out the uh, Beastmaster. I usually see them picking it up themselves because I know that Meg likes to play it. So I'm always a little bit... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's blue versus red right now. <laughs> yeah, it's blue versus red, right. Uh, okay, well, what can PR pick up? That we have Drow Rangers? Work a little bit. Uh, this is right. Yeah, this is, yeah. And then, uh, but you do need something tanky. What is blue in this? If yeah, Lashrak running around, he's not going to be uh, able to. <laughs> There's, there you go. That's yes! good. That's tanky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. This is just going to be it's running well. around. <laughs> okay, so now we need a red pick. What kind of heroes that do we have? This red. You should know that. Uh, they need a red guy. Yeah, Phoenix for offlane, and they have an Earth Shaker to actually make that Phoenix work. But I don't know if Mag is a Phoenix player. I haven't seen him really play that hero. Uh, he might be able to play. Yeah, everyone could. You can always play anything you want. You can even pick a... Five it doesn't really matter what you pick. You can play Techies, any Techies is red, right? Techies is red, more or less. Yeah, but you, you just can't run a Techies alone. I think you always need something to help him. Either in a Tusk, Agnes, just have something weird with it. Just more fun to cast and more fun to see. And I feel like it just gives a bit more utility to the, uh, to the Techies. Dire team well, Gyrocopter. Okay, so it's not going to be blue versus red. Bad job, Vega. That's not good. I need, I mean, we need to combo talk breakers. Them. Combo breakers, Vega. <laughs> we need to. Uh, we need to talk to them after the match, man. This is uh, not allowed. Yeah, that's not allowed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Want to talk to Sima, man? This is it. This, this just can't happen. But so far, Vega, they're looking with a strong drift again. Shadowfi, they have minus armor going there with the Gyrocopter. Earthshaker, they still were able actually to pick up maybe a Dazzle. So you're going a little bit uh, defensive there then. But it's nice to combo up. Reserve time. At least with, uh, you know, in regard to just keeping the heroes alive, the armor as well. For sustain. Also, what is it? Uh, Spirit Breaker doesn't have the highest amount of armor, and Lash Rack and Rick are pretty low now. Too think, much. Do you think Dazzle pick here for Vega or looking at something? I'm not certain, like, Dazzle can work, but we'll see. What else? PR. What do PR need? They have a spear pack, which is most likely going to be either roaming or offlane. I suppose it's offlane, right? And they need some sort of a stun, I guess. Mm, Shadow Demon wouldn't be that bad, actually. Right now, it combos well with Lashrak, but... Yeah, even with the Winter Wyvern, it's just nice just to get it more in position to use this uh, Arctic Burn. In the early game as well, so give spirit break. That Ar Arctic, Arctic burn has so much space, so much uh, range. You don't really need to get in position to use it. But... At level one, <laughs> it is. Like, level one is still a little bit. Yeah, and it's just nice to be close. And we have another combo break here coming out from PR, picking up the bristleback. 
Does but I actually have two quite tanky heroes already here for the left wreck. They're just making space, and we might just see a, a little bit of a secret strat here. Maybe Techies for Vega. With the task. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think? Yeah, you, you never know. It's possible. They have one game ahead, so they, they are able to maybe try something. I don't know, I believe this is an awfully two scars, so... Uh, I don't see it happening, but, you know, it would be nice. Don't you want to see that? Seconds remaining. I would like to see it, yes. I actually played it in a pub with Arze, Reserve I think he... Time. Arze Kuh, you know that guy? I think he played with Vega. I'm not certain, I think he played for them. <laughs> he was the Tusk, I was the Techies, so... I <laughs> it's, don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a really uh, gimmicky strategy to use, it's nice. It's really fun, I don't, I don't see it happening, though. I don't see oh. it happening, really. It would be odd, but... But yeah, we're looking at PR. They're gonna be banning... Let's see, Vega, they're either missing an offlaner... Or... Uh... What else do you need? An offlaner or support? It really depends on what they think. And they're actually thinking about the Dazzle. Here we go. I think like Gorek, man. I should be the, the drafter for the <laughs> You should be drafting, right? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I believe that's a two-scar offlane and they, all, they are just going to pick another support here. Yeah, but what kind of support do you need? You, probably your range hero, I'm gonna assume. Maybe Vengeful? Vengeful would be nice. Wouldn't be bad. Why, why do you think the Fench was so well underpicked at the moment? You think there's. He's just so much worse right now? Just. I, I don't think she's any worse than she was before. I think that hero is strong right now, but people opt to take some other heroes which aren't as. Uh, aren't as seen on the scene, so they give you that. <laughs> little bit extra of uh, unknown factor that goes in your way, you know, like right, this Winter Wyvern, yeah. he wasn't really picked that much even when he came into the into the captain's mode and suddenly there's a boom of Winter Wyverns <laughs> since Soneiko played, played it that well. Yeah. But he has been picked by uh, some SEA teams a lot, who are... Yeah, now it's just coming up, especially as an IO counter. Yeah. And that hero is just strong. That hero is just too strong. Might receive. But we'll see because I, I'm not gonna see another patch of that. We're gonna see a lot of winter rifles. Maybe banning a lot of bans on the way. They got they actually they do have some magical damage. Cold embrace isn't as effective. Five seconds. A bit of a they do have some, but not not as much as they could have. Oh, but still, let's say raises are should be enough. You have uh, Echo Slam, Fall Down, Rocket Barrage, Shards, Snowball. There's a lot. There is, there is enough. You can even just wind up the Requiem on top of somebody. <laughs> no, guys, this is not on Dota Reborn. I can tell you that. Definitely not on Dota the Reborn. I'm not even sure. Tournaments aren't on Dota the Reborn yet. Grand King, so Power Rangers they have a nice amount of greed and, and just mid game. Yeah, it's pretty mid game, don't you think? From PR now, a bit of swapping roles. Do you think overall their draft is strong? They, they, their draft excels at mid game, you are correct, but they could eventually take it a bit later, not versus a Jarvan, a Shadow Fiend, although like those two heroes are going to outlate them, let's say. They are much stronger late late game. They just have more fit. Pretty much. Dash Rock, although it's he's a really strong hero. And somewhere it goes wrong. And why don't they see the last pick? Dang. Oh there we go. I, what? I had lag? That's something. It's Bane. Yeah, it's Bane, I see. It's Pashai Bashu playing Bane? What? Solo playing Jarva? Something is Tusk. Okay, the Tusk of late. We could have guessed that. No one is going to be playing the Shadow Fiend. But, uh, is it Tusk and Bashu playing uh, position one? Yeah, I think they're going to swap around either in the game or. There we go, they already swept. Yeah, that's the, the, it. That was. <laughs> it was like solo, like, man, fuck you, Pasha. I'm position one now. Go support <laughs> me. <laughs> Bye, Ward. <laughs> the Shima, the Slayer, he's going to be playing the four position role now. It's usually the fi uh, fifth position. At least I'm not seeing a Bane position 4 here. It's You're gonna see. It, it's, it might happen, but it's... 
there's a little chance of that happening, right? It's, it's such a shame. Are you going to introduce the teams while there's pause? Yeah, that is usually how we do it. We could do that. <laughs> Then okay, I'll go. I'll you want to do? You want to go? Yeah, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. What so on the want? side of Radiant Vega, we have a uh, Sema the Slayer or Chema the Slayer. I'm not sure. On Shaker solo on uh, the Bane, Shadowfiend played by no one. Uh, Mag on your offlane Tusk and Pasha Ibashu playing position one Gyro. Pasha Ibashu? Pasha okay. Ibashu. I don't know. Something uh, like that. You should be able to announce <laughs> it. He's from your region. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, be I give it my best. I give it my best, this is my Russian accent, so leave me alone. <laughs> but okay, for PR on the dire side, I have to take a game back right now. We have J4 playing the Sand King, we have Sunlay playing the Lash Wreck, we have Dirty Rob playing the Bristleback, we have Gorak playing the Winter Wyvern, and we have Chester Cat playing the Off Lane Spirit Breaker. So we're gonna have a position 1 Bristleback here, and a position 3 or 2 a Lash Wreck. Okay. Bit lane uh, matchup, what do you think? I, I, I think it's Pasha Ibashu, leave me alone chat. Pasha Ibashu, that's how I say it. It's gonna be like that for the rest of this game. <laughs> yeah, because this is your, actually your last game that you will be casting with me today, right? Because after this you yeah. have to start playing some other matches. Mm, pretty much, yeah. I don't have to start it, but I'm gonna go away because I see you are embarrassed by my great accent. Ah, so you're it's cool. Right. Your accent is <laughs> it's fine. Cool. <laughs> it's cool, bro. <laughs> I'm not, that's not about your accent, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, dude, we're just flavor casting. It's here, about the. Uh... <laughs> you get it. <laughs> yeah, it's about that, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. After, you know, before you leave, you have to play like a solo, you know, sing a little bit with it. You know, because you're a Meepo, you should be able to micromanage, you know. Play, you know, sing as well as play the harmonica at the same time. It's, it's too easy, bro. Five Meepos and harmonica, too easy, believe me. <laughs> if people are actually wondering what it is, uh, you should just check out Reddit, Syndrome plays with some weird version, or something along those lines. Or with Russian playing an harmonica or whatever. <laughs> I don't so know. We're gonna exactly. start. Yeah, Sima the Slayer has the boots and three clarities, looking to roam around with that gyro. Uh, Cheshire Cat smoked up, ported down, and he's gonna with block gyro? that camp as soon as possible. That, that's amazing. Sima the Slayer is playing an with Earthshaker. Shaker, with Shaker. What did I say, gyro? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice drugs, Lizard. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> 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 so yeah, you, you were correct, the solo is gonna play that position 4, uh, uh, position 5 Bane, while the Shaker is gonna run around and maybe help out middle. Yeah. But they do have a nice setup here, even just with the homing missile, it's already a nice setup for the, uh, you know, with the Nightmare there. It's, it's a nice setup, but I don't see them killing Cheshire Cat, and uh, in the end I believe he'll just sack that lane if he's not able to get <laughs> an experience and just help middle. Uh, and charge around, you know, bring mess to the yard, that's all. Yeah, and I think that's really what they can actually be able to do, because they, they need to have uh, Team of the Slayer in the middle pretty much at all times, just due to the fact that there's no one on the Shadow Feet is actually really susceptible to ganks. He is? He is, unless there's a Shaker standing behind yeah. him stacking his camps, and that's exactly what Sima is going to do, I believe. That's actually something you see a lot now, actually, just guarding the mid laner at what level but it's the first two, three minutes just to give them a little bit of an advantage. You know, with always two having a backup there, no one really has the advantage anymore. So it's really weird to see if, in my eyes. Both uh, both mid laners are actually pretty susceptible to ganks. Dash Wreck is not that strong at level one. They pretty mean, much, yes. If there's a good fissure coming out without any backup, this Lershark might find himself in an awkward position. Eating a few raises and dying. No, so he should be able to actually have one or two supports with him because the bristlebacks should be more than fine for us. I don't really see them killing each other. Could happen, but it's, it's really, really unlikely. Oh, and they're actually asking something for you. To do. do the Perian Flex announce you? You have got a double kill. Do 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 do. Probably doing the wrong, the wrong, stuff there, but. With your Monica. But I want you so to the Pyrrhon Flex announcer, you have got the double kill. Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah, I have no idea what he's talking about. I, I don't have the you announcer. Oh, man. I have never even heard the announcer, so I'm sorry, bro. I can play you, uh, you can... <laughs> a little bit, but I have no idea what you're talking about, so yeah. You can just go to the uh, to the shared panel and select it. I have it. 
No, you can hear it too at this game and then in your uh, stream you can do it a little bit. Yeah, on my stream. You can come on my stream and I will play it for you. Don't worry. Kappa. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Later, after this game. So let's focus on this. Yeah, and, and Mac, he's just gonna start to rest out here. This is just annoying Arctic Burn. That's an annoying skill to play against, but Winter Viver has a really huge cooldown starting in, like it's 50 seconds, so Mac shouldn't be completely zoned out of this lane. Well, he's gonna get zoned out quite hard with... He just took a lot of a rest here, he's already over half HP. Yeah, he definitely will be zoned, but he won't be zoned out to the experience range. He's going to leech as much as experience as he can get. J4 is already stacked as easy camp, so... And what we didn't talk about is that the DTRI is actually in the middle with the Bristleback and Leshak oh, yeah. is the safe laner. But they swept up uh, the positions here. What do you think? Yeah, this, is it, is I think it's... I, I'm not certain. I don't think that was necessary. Yes. But yeah, it, it may... Bristle is much harder to kill with a Fissure, right? With a Fissure gank, but still... If, if you get other races off, he's still gonna die here. There's the first race already. Yeah, that's a nice... that's a nice Fissure. He, he doesn't die from this, just the fact that he had to use the... Uh, Longest range uh, rage first, but still, you're still able to kill a bristleback quite easily. Not able to stand versus the rages. It's too much damage. Pretty much, yeah. And I think they noticed it, and they're already actually rotating everybody in for the two minute wound. Gorak, he has to use his uh, Arctic Burn. Get out. Uh, that's fine. Oh, Snowball. Sima, he uh, lives along the he right as well. Hero. Arctic Burn. And yeah. Uh, just uh, some friendly poking. Visiting the neighbors. <laughs> Just some friendly poking, yeah, but no one on the middle has already four stacks and Ditya is considering Five? diving this. Six? He has to go. Oh, that race was really off the mark. Oh, the race right. was off the mark, Woo! but still. He might just keep on following this. Yeah, he will. This is like a really slow <laughs> slow chase, but he's able to okay, get there you it. Go. The pre boost chase, really, really exciting. If you see the. Ever see the faults of this, we don't have to put in like a slow mode because. It's already there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you overcommitted a little bit? The creeps weren't uh, at the tower range, so the tower started attacking him immediately. He did the right thing to try to kill this uh, Shadow Fiend that had four stacks of pills already on him, but it didn't quite pay off. That does give a big edge there to the Shadow Fiend in the middle, taking up the first blood in this uh, second matchup for best of five grand finals between PR and Vega. I'm always pronouncing Vega wrong. I'm always saying Vega. Really Fega. Uh, I don't know why, it's really my Dutch accent that kicks in. Fega. 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 Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> nice accent, bro. <laughs> and we have this uh, Baratum charging in middle with 300 HP. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I think he's not gonna do this, he's just gonna back off. Yeah, that's. It was just to get out of the uh, the situation he was in. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, he's fine, he, uh, he has a health posi health bot and he might actually, after he just regened up, is he gonna get some boots as well? Might just start to look for a gank, but no one is already getting help. No, Sima is close. He probably wants to charge middle, right? That's the only hero he can charge and try to kill, but the problem is there's always Sima standing behind, so I think Vega got the edge on... Uh... Draft again, you know, and they're just positioning themselves properly. Yeah, Sima look at this, they're going in, they pop the DD room, while Sima on the backline is getting focused on the Cheshire Cat, but there's gonna be the snow on top of him. No one is close, oh, he misses the race! He does hit the second one, he has a DD, he will follow him down, but Cheshire Cat is taking damage, but he is faster. Oh, actually he's not faster, but yeah, it doesn't matter, no one doesn't want to follow him. And again, the rune for, uh, for the side of Vega and Vega. Damn it. I'm just gonna keep on calling him Vega. Uh, yeah, it's Pasha, Vashu and Vega. <laughs> Kiss, man. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> they, got, they get the both runes again, so... No, Vega, just having a good old time. Oh, PR is just not able to contest it at the moment. They're just not at a point yet. And Sunlight, he's doing some damage to the tower, but without Diabolic Edict. I don't see him killing it down anytime soon. I don't know, I think that uh, Vega has the edge again in, in the draft. You know, I think their draft is much stronger. And I don't know, this... Uh, this all depends on the item time. Exactly, and I believe they are doing a better job right now. This, this Sand King might be the extra factor that might do something later on, but he's far away from his dagger. He's been moving around a lot. He hasn't been stacking the hard camp, he's stacking the medium one. And then you get we'll mid golems. It does take yeah. a long time. 
Well, let's just well, take at it. At least he uh, can kill them. Hmm? At he least can he can kill them now, yeah. But still, 50% magic uh, reduction is. Yeah, it's, it's gonna just... take a while. It's gonna take a while, definitely. And I was just gonna say, let's just take a look at the lessons right now. We have Pasha or Pasha Ibashu playing uh, Jericot with 40 less hits and 12 denies. He's just, he's just at the top of the leaderboards. No one really that close. No one is actually close. He has 4 less hits less, 37. And after that, we have Sunlight with uh, 32 right now. He's not able to keep up right now with uh, with Pasha. It's actually interesting that he's not able to keep keep up, but yeah. was uh, was Pasha farming the jungle? Did he have any stacks? I think he was, wasn't, yeah. right? So yeah. it's quite interesting that Sunlight isn't able to keep up with him. Because he's not really getting that... He's not, he's not having anybody contesting. Exactly. That's the weird thing. Like the dirty rise on the 18 or 20, that's understandable. And he's like, even gonna get eyes. a stomach. Oh, that, that gold embrace is actually not that good. It's just gonna keep him there. He was going to that place anyway with the fissure and ice shards, yeah. but. Yeah. He no just keeps him really... there. No one is really no one... far in. This is. Um, this will be the death of him. There you go. Mirror strikes, play the earth, everything is popped on him, and they will get a kill. That was really, really aggressive. That was too aggressive, especially yeah. for a position 5 hero. He dies for a winter wyvern that's. <laughs> There's not what you're supposed to do, and even Mac, yeah. he just runs in and it just gives another kill to PR there. That was pretty bad. Yeah, and Gorek, he but gets he did force a lot of rotations, so yeah, that's something at least. It's something. They lose their tier one on bottom. So is it worth it? I would have still been able to get a tier one on bottom anyway. Oh, of course it's not worth it. Of course, <laughs> I'm just saying yeah. they get something at least. That's yeah. all. Yeah, that wasn't it worth it. Definitely. You're gonna try on Dichara again, it seems. Yeah, they not. can they can just keep the pressure on him. If he just gets one or two too races. little. He can't stand versus this uh, shadow fiend anymore. So he can just uh, quill spray the creeps and move them away, which he's doing right now. But he can't lane versus him anymore. Oh well, Jasher can't. He gets a call on top of his face. He's he's able to run out of this. No, he is not. Gorek uses this cold burn, but he might just be the next one. To go down. They're gonna follow him. They're actually diving him. But they're gonna stop with him right now. Pasha has the, uh, the aggro power on him. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't tour commit to that. They have no idea where the Sand King is right now and Lesha can always DP, so yeah. It's not worth it dying for the Winter Wyvern again, it's just not worth it. Dirty Ra I think he might just be stacking for the uh, Vega here. Because they, be, they should be able to spot this one out. Yeah, they uh, will spot it out, but yeah, spot it uh, out. Yeah, I, I'm not certain that's a the stack Curry they want killed? to contest right now. What the hell did the die Curry do? It got killed by the creep aggro of the... Uh... <laughs> because Sand King is sandstorming, there's a creep aggro going on, and they, <laughs> they got something delivered, I think, to someone, and... The aggro went over to the courier. Interesting. That's actually really... Weird. Shitty, that, that's just so fucking annoying. That's not what you want to happen. <laughs> and they're actually opting for an early mecha here on no one. They just want to start fighting. Oh, Pasha, he they're just really strong. Him. They're really strong right now. They have a lot and... Uh, <laughs> Pasha is farming like crazy. But... The Joker on the side of PR is the Sand King. We'll just see how well he will do. When he gets that Blink Dagger out. So far he has done nothing this game. So. Uh, the one rotation on middle, but... He wasn't, Pretty much, he wasn't contesting the runes, either. that's all. Yeah. yeah, well, and the contest of the runes really wasn't that smooth. And they spot out that they're taking the uh, the Asian stack here, so no lowest. They're just throwing down wards on both sides and they find the... Uh, I wouldn't contest this if I was on uh, no, the side of Vega, but... They, they, they want to, they, they rotate again. Nightmare is there on Gorik. He is level 6 though, so they have to burst him down quite easily before they get the, uh, the ultimate there on top of them with Dirt Rai. He's gonna get snowballed on top of him. Is he gonna get thrown into the air? He is. Look at his lightning actually coming out, doing a lot of damage there. There's a little bit of a... Oh, burst strike on Solo! Oh, he's gonna die there. Well, actually, at the back line, he's gonna get a kill on Sunlight as well. Cheshire Cat, he's gonna get raised down. There's gonna get okay. an triple kill. <laughs> that contest, They completely man. destroyed them, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> the contesting them was definitely the right... Right play, and the now right they're just gonna to steal. They're gonna steal yeah, the, uh, the Asians. Yeah. This, is, this is just gonna be such a big... Big blow in the economy of PR. You can just look at the graph. Just, whoop, skyrocketing up. The supports will get level 6 because of this fight as well. Well, actually not. Solo died. Solo is not happy. 
Are you raw? He, he can walk. Meteorite is just trying, looking at the ancients being taken and just crying there. He, he's, he can't do anything about it. And this hero is a zero factor right now. He has brown boots and ring of health. He just. He's more of a liability. He really needed those stacks, so yeah. Oh, yeah. A brief Vanguard. Wrestle back at 10 minutes, 11 minutes. It's just. And then when you watch the Shadow Fiend with mech. And power threads, it's... yeah. What is... Just look at this farm experience. No one. 6.5k. 30 raw. 2.8k. Over close. Well, Pasha, the save lane, has almost took the ass to him. Once again, I feel they got a little bit outdrafted. If not outdrafted, outlaned. Putting the Shaker on middle, just saving this Shadow Fiend from any overaggression from charges and so forth was really a smart thing to do. The right thing to do. Oh, <laughs> Gorak blown up. Gorak blown up once. Yeah, there. man. It just that Fissure shard, throw in a race, and he's dead. It's. Please, it? chat, don't, don't flame DTRI. He's a good player. He's a good player, definitely. Yeah, he definitely is, and it's... seeing people call him a Vibliadoc is not nice. But that's uh, I don't want to know it. You don't want to know, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with not knowing that. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's just a mid lane there, you know, with the Earthshaker there, and him having almost no backup because they have to protect Sunlight. Just makes it the top lane for him. If he gets Fissured, one raise on top of him, he is off health. He has to go back, bottle lot, and then he loses less hits. And he goes back in, he gets another raise thrown onto it. He tries less hit, he gets two rages on top of him. Just <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I think it would have been a lot better to get uh, left frame there, but that's, that's just Captain Hindsight talking there. I guess you know what Captain Hindsight is, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, good. Captain Hindsight, of course. Yeah. I'm just wondering, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't uh, let my... Uh... Oh, Steam finished downloading. Oh my god, I have Dota 2 Reborn. My... <laughs> I, I just got it before the uh, before it as well, before the match started. Let's play a match after uh, after the best of five. Okay, but my Dota just broke, so yeah. Your Dota's always Continue, broke. continue streaming <laughs> alone. <laughs> oh man, that, that sucks that it broke down, but we're just gonna keep on going in the match as uh, Lisa just said there. Well, uh, we are, they're just going for the bottom tower here. They're just laying in some damage. They don't have Diabolic Eating yet. Did they put a point into skills here? No, no, they didn't. Should be able to level up there, but like, oh, level 10. I always match up to level 9, I don't know. Well, we have Twitch, uh, we have Lizard here back with us. Yeah, I'm back, what's happening? Is PR winning now? No. No, they're okay, taking towers, man, they're taking towers. Oh my god, towers. they're taking towers, nice. They're they're trading trading. Why is he attacking this? Why is he... Why is he not in the back? Well, he will be in the back yeah. right now. Call down is used. They're gonna use the Winter Wife and Ultimate there to keep Solo away. Well, dude, Persia just walks oh in god. and cleans up. Mega pop, three men down. There's gonna be the fourth. And there's gonna be the epicenter. They at least get Pasha there, but at what cost? They get Pasha, but it's not worth it. But did One. you see what Pasha did there? He just walks inside five of them and starts wrecking havoc. While they, there's nothing they can do. They start attacking him, but Shadowfin. Shadowfiend gets there on time with the mech, saves him to dish out a little bit more damage and they just team wipe them. That's how far ahead they are. They can just <laughs> walk into five of them and still survive. Yeah, <laughs> that was like not a good initiation and no means at all. Yeah. It wasn't an initiation at all. It was it just, was... hello, I'm here and I'm gonna walk into five of you and start attacking. And... Yeah. <laughs> the fissure there though from Seema, it was just perfectly on time before they were able to really start casting skill. Pretty much, yes. That was also a really big factor there. They didn't even use all their ultimates. The Seema still has his, uh, his Echo Slam. He still has his Echo Slam and yeah. he's pretty close to his dagger right now. 1800 gold, so... That's... VR... It's pretty close. VR is having such a tough time. And now... They, yeah, they, they can just take their own Ace and stake right now. Another thing that's happening is that PR is pretty much 5 manning right now and... That's more or less what they can do while Shaker is farming middle, Gyro is farming the Ancients. Well, but, Mech is actually easy. They're gonna go after him right here. They get some lucky bastards off there and they will be able to kill him off. Oh no, what, what? He's still on the snowball. He gets out the ice shard, but yeah, this is just essentially delaying. Sorry guys, we had a little bit of 5 second delay on the stream there, but uh, he is really dead right now, so... Well, Solo was in the neighborhood. He was thinking of saving him maybe, but uh, once he sees more than 3 people, he just backs off. 
No, there are basically five manning, so... Mag thought that he could delay that push, but... There was no way, his whole team was just farming out, so... It, it would have been smarter to da just leave that tower, but yeah. You would say it's worth just giving them the tower and... Yeah, okay, just moving back, because that's what happened in the end, right? They gave the tower and they got the mag as well, so. No, no, he didn't get the tower, he denied it. He denied it? Yeah, yeah, he denied yeah. it, and after that he started walking back and then, you know, the charge was there. Right. Yeah, well, well, okay, that's that's fine. That's oh. something, yeah. He's great from Dirty Ra. So there is going to be the charge on Solo, but look at this. The Caldo's already popped, and they're just walking in front of him, thrown into the air. Yes, they will. Mech get a kill. Oh no, Jesser can't. Yes. Team are picking this one up, and he even has his blink right now, and uh, now it's just going to get a lot more problematic for PR. G4, he, he's, he got his blink as well, he's pushing up bot lane, but essentially, how is he ever gonna push versus the lineup for, for Vega as a sand king? No chance, you know. There's no way, there's no chance, exactly. He has to start uh, TPing back to the base right now. Well, there's gonna be a solo echo slam on Sunlight here, Fissure as well, shards, and yeah, just Sunlight was up. trying to be a Cheeky. little clever there, yeah, trying to hide into the trees, maybe cast a few lightnings, but uh, they yeah. found him out with the sigils, so... They even, oh, there's gonna be an epicenter! They will try to contest it, the buyback is there as well! But They're gonna go in! To work. No, there's the BKB, the call down, it hits everybody here! And they just blow them up. It was actually not a buyback, it was just a uh, blast on charge, never mind there, but... Already two down, they get a tower. They smoke up straight into rush. This is gonna be the easiest rush for them, so... Yeah, this is no, there's just no chance to stop it there. Actually, no, he really didn't buy back. It was so fast, but it was his, uh, his bloodstone, and now he has only three charges of it. That's just... It's just going top. Not top. Things are looking dire for them. Things are looking dire for the dire side. Yeah, pretty much. Such a terrible pun to make. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> And Tusk is building up towards his drum. He, I think he has it. Yeah, that's the recipe as well. So, does he also? Maybe, uh, actually, gonna start building up glimmer capes on uh, on solo now. Sima, he uh, he got nothing yet. What do you think Sima is gonna be building up? Oh, whatever he builds is gonna be on spot. <laughs> this dagger is all that he needs right now, and building it to a force or yules or glimmer or medallion, whatever he does next is pretty much okay. Well, no, no one went for the uh, link into mechanism build here. You mean mechanism into blink? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got the into blink BKB. Now. Yeah, this is more or less yeah. the standard build I've seen him do. So, it's... and they actually play really well with this shadow fiend. They work around him. And they help it out for Chenga. He didn't get actually. Oh, it was in middle, but they're going in. They're going in for the fight here. Dirty Raslo, They're all actually low in PR. They're already two down sunlight. He gets even fiend script into the. Bolt embrace because they don't care. They kill him off three men down, just for a rush I don't want to call it this early in the game, but I think this is over pretty much. The bristleback yeah. is not going to do anything later on while you have a gyro and a shadow field. Well, but Tesser cat, he's trying to go for Mac, but Mac just thinks like, what? Hell no! Thrown into the air. He's gonna get some shards on him as well, and now the man fight begins. And Cheshire cat, he is. Uh, on the cow, he's not manly enough to fight versus the boar here. <laughs> I don't here. really like this, like, you are chasing a crazy cow across <laughs> the map while you could be pushing when the whole team <laughs> just is like... He just gets blown up the race as well. yeah. <laughs> They were perfect! And he almost escapes there, that's... What he did, he basically stopped them from... From taking a tower, or... Yeah, taking a tower or doing any damage on the tower, but I think this is just Vega being uh, sloppy and just not giving. No. But yeah, sunlight, yeah, wreck him, boom! And denied. And he suicides. <laughs> but that is what? One uh, bloodstone charge? There you go. Yeah, one bloodstone charge. And what do you get for it? The wreck him plus a, uh, a nightmare. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I would try that. Yeah, this is. But still, even if he denies there, they get a kill off on the cow there. It's. It's still all worth it in the end for Vega because they can just you know, group up, go for tier 2. Yeah, I hope they will do that. It should this do that. Game, yeah. Oh man, there's over 15k ahead. Almost 15k in experience as well. This is. PR really needs to make some sort of a 
basic combat. really good team fights, you know. They need to guide them, they need to make them waste some spells, but it's not really easy thing to do versus a Bane and the two Scars, so... And an Earthshaker on top of it, so I... I don't see what they can do right now. They are actually going bottom. They are expecting them to defend this, right? Are they? They are expecting someone to port and maybe get... No, they are no, moving not. back They're top actually going to go back. Dashrek is They're nowhere close enough yet to show. So he... If that comes down to a base race, uh, times here, uh, they will lose. Oh, and Sand King died. But Sima used the Echo Slam, so that's something. It's so... I missed it. I, I wasn't thinking that they would actually kill him. Sand King, he buys back. It doesn't mean it's 45. And there's going to be the ultimate. Barsha is locked down. There's going to be a spinner on the mark as well. But he just gets a nice nightmare there. While Cheshire Cat gets free script onto the air. Uh, but look at the damage coming out. Brainstep doing a lot. There's Rocket Barsha. He's kept alive for a little bit longer with the Colt on Brace. But the Race is there to kill him off. Godlike on, on uh, Barsha there. Well, they get a nice punch. Double kill now. Gorek got, got killed. Well, J4. He has to start running away. No, shorts are just a little bit off the mark, but just look at the damage there coming out from no one. Triple kill, and GG called. GG called, yeah, pretty much. Well, I think they got outlaned and outdrafted again. Yeah, this was pretty fast two matches already. All pre 30 minutes, this even just a match two minutes for Vega. And they have been stepping up the game for the international match. They just they, they, yeah, they just trained. I think they trained a lot for the international qualifiers, and they are just taking everything that they learned in those training sessions to every other tournament that they are playing. They are just crushing teams. So good for them. That's gonna be tough to to play versus Vega right now because they're looking strong. They're making almost no mistakes at all. They are like when they lead a lot and when they win games, they tend to do some sloppy things like chase that spirit breaker but it's... not that it mattered oh, overall was... in the grand picture so it didn't really matter that much because even five no. versus five were able to take the base it didn't matter that much they were playing what was it the last team fight 4v5 and they won it's just crazy and uh well we're gonna Go into the uh, into a break now. That was the second match in our grand final of the Mountain Trail Challenge. We have Vega versus PR. Vega has already been able to take two matches, and if they win one more, they're going home with the grand prize of three thousand European euros. Hey, and fifteen hundred euros will go the way of PR, guys. I hope you will stick with us. We'll be back soon with the second match of our best of five grand. Fi uh, you third mean match. third, third yeah. match? Yeah. Yes, third match of our best of five grand final. Hope to see you guys soon again. With me was Lizard. You can follow him at uh, at this Twitch. Bitch I think he, I think he likes it. Lizard .adva. I'm also on Vogue Contact. You can find me there or on Twitter. And yeah, it's all the same. Lizard .adva. You can just find me anywhere. It's Garmoshka you, You'll know what to search for. So guys, that was it. I'm gonna go in the break now and uh, see you guys later.